My name is Mapule Leberekhane, a recording artist and Ngonyama music. Um, I'm from Kuruman in Northern Cape originally, but later on we relocated to Cape Town. That's where I'm staying recently. I started singing when I was nine years old. Um, yeah, I was, I was, it was during my primary school, yeah, time. Um, that's why I started joining the, the choir, the music choir at, at school. And um, I was a leading vocalist then. And also I had an advantage to, to move around with my parents because they were, my father was an evangelist. So at home, like almost every weekend or twice in a month, there'll be revivals and we tour around our villages in, in Kuruman. So they started giving me a mic and then I, I had to lead songs at church as well. Later on, moved to Cape Town and um, that's where I got more exposure, you know, more experience. Um, there was a choir in Cape Town and then I joined that choir, gospel choir. Yeah, so I used to sing songs like um, I remember Mama, Shelly Caesar songs. Um, then I decided to go solo, like getting invitations and minister. I think for 15 years, I was doing it alone, going around, getting invitations all around um, until 2016. Then I, I got an exposure to work with um, Bishop Benjamin Dube. I, I totally believe that I am born for it. It's a gift for me and it's ministry. I, I'm not just singing to entertain, but it's a calling for me. Um, I did not choose for myself. Um, I tried so many times to to reason with God, you know, or try to, to take another route, but God always brought me back to ministry, you know, and um, I've seen God taking me from one place to another, you know, um, teaching me from the challenges that I've been encountering, you know, in a, each and every season that I've, I've came across. But what's unique about me would be the fact that I don't just sing about someone that I do not know. I have a personal encounter, you know, with, with God. I have a relationship with Him. And um, I, I've seen God separating me from things that I thought they worked for me or for my voice, you know. Um, I think that's what makes me different. I, I, I minister what I know. You cannot minister about someone that you, you do not know. So if I have to deliver a song, it starts with me before, before it can touch someone else. Because I believe that I cannot give what I do not have. In the next future, um, I'm planning to, to um, have a live DVD recording. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm planning to have a live DVD recording. And obviously, um, the platform where God is taking me, I believe that it's not only going to be my platform. You know, I also have a, a hard desire to, to share the platform with other, other people that really believe in God, you know. Um, just to be there and, and, and show them that there is hope and there is God who is able. Um, what inspires me to write songs, it's, it's the, the, the tribulations that I've been through, you know, and how I've seen God taking me out of those challenges that I've been through. I think um, it encouraged me to write songs like Obo Bekezela, you know, Tandaza, Ufane Noana, you know, we know that scripture from 
um, the book of Samuel where Oana was, was expecting from the Lord and God closed her womb, you know, but she kept on praying irregardless. So now I related to her story because um, I've waited so long. I mean, it's been 20 years now, you know, waiting for someone to really recognize me. But I thank God that um, I met my producer, Sam.